In this video, we're going to test out the performance of the Rockbell's 100 watt solar panel to see what we can expect in real world conditions. Let's do it. I've shown you in a prior video how the Rockpal's 100 watt solar panel performed in full sunlight with the 300 watt power station from Rockpal's as well. And the result was impressive. I got a full charge in four hours. The power station has a capacity of 280 watt hours, so this solar panel must have a performance close to 100 watts per hour. In my experience, chargers are not able to bring up a battery to full power in a linear fashion. Typically, the rough charge, meaning the first 75% of the charge, is very fast. Then the last 10% takes the longest, which is like a trickle charge. That's what I noticed here too during the first test. Again, for those not experienced with car 12 volt batteries, typically a discharged battery or one that will no longer put out power is around 10.5 volts. That's usually what's marked as the bottom rung or zero charge. When a battery is fully charged, it's usually at 12.7 volts. This can vary by battery, but this particular power station has this pattern. So I noticed that it was already above 12 volts in a couple of hours, so the bulk of the charge was already on it. This is actually useful to know since if you have multiple batteries and you don't have a lot of sun, like during winter, even giving each battery a bulk charge will give you a lot of power rather than waiting for each battery to fill up to 100%. Another thing to consider is that typically a charger needs to be over 14 volts in order for a battery to charge. So that's what we will measure today. Whether this is used to charge a lead acid battery or a lithium ion battery, the voltage has to be high enough to charge, which is over 14 volts. We're going to put this panel in full sun, watch the voltage, and then obstruct the panels in some way, or wait for clouds, or put it in shadows, and see what happens. We'll get the max voltage rating of the panel, which is stated as 18 volts and what we need to do to get it to at least 14 volts. So let's find out. Today is a partly cloudy day near noon. I don't see the sun above me, so it's blocked by clouds, but I can feel the sun on me. So on a partly cloudy day, with the panel fully open to the sun, here I'm getting 21.1 to 21.3 volts. With some shadows, I'm getting 21.1 volts. I'm going to put half the panel in the shade and I'm getting 20.9 volts. Putting the panel in full shade, I'm getting a range here from 19.1, 19.3, and 20 volts. At half section in the full shade, I'm getting 18.8 .8 volts. When I covered up two thirds of the panel, I'm getting 18.4 volts. Now these are impressive results to say the least. This panel is the newer microcrystalline design 
which has more efficiency. What is interesting though is that the manufacturer rated this at 18 volts and even in full shade, leaving only one third of the sections open, it was still generating 18.4 volts, though I'm sure it's at a lower power level. I won't be getting 100 watts. This means that the cells are wired in parallel. So even covering part of the panel does not stop it from working. This is a typical problem in older solar panel designs. So this is very good. Again, to charge a 12 volt battery, the voltage has to exceed 14 volts typically. This never even got below 18 volts. So my expectation is that this would charge the battery in a cloudy day. Might even work in the UK, folks. I wasn't expecting the voltage to exceed 18 volts, and this went up to 21.3. It will probably go even higher if there's direct sun from above. That means that the manufacturer added extra cells for a reserve. This makes his solar panel a better value than it appears. I'm very impressed. And this explains the fast charge I got on the original battery and solar test. In my original video on the Rockpal set of battery and then the 100 watt solar panel, the battery, which is a 280 watt hour capacity, charged in under four hours. But the bulk of the charge was accepted in under three hours. The last charge was more of a trickle charge. So this means delivering on the 100 watt promise, even on a cloudy day. Rock Pals did not cut corners on this panel. Based on these results, I'm going to give Rock Pals a thumbs up. So you can see it was good for me to delay purchasing a solar panel. I was looking for a solar panel that performed and the first one I got is quite a performer. So that's very good news. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you.